morning beautiful people welcome back to another video i am going to be working from home today which is super exciting because i have so much to catch up on usually when i'm at the warehouse i'm always just embroidering and just doing a lot of hands-on stuff so i kind of like having these days off sometimes where i'm at home so i can just catch up on invoicing we got a bunch of things to do and how's actually at the warehouse now because he's hopefully picking up an exciting parcel i mean it's going to be exciting to us i don't know how exciting it will be to you guys but if it does come we'll show you guys later how it works and what it is but last night the wind can i just say it was freaking crazy like it was so scary i kept waking up every like half an hour or so because i just heard noises and i thought that our furniture was literally gonna fly away because it's happened previously uh, i'll show you guys in a second but like our outdoor furniture it's i would say it's decently heavy but it flew across our fence to our neighbors two down like last summer or last winter should i say and it was wild so now we have like concrete bricks holding the chair down but still it managed to move last night that's how insane the wind was anyways let me show you that what that looks like if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button also we have some very very exciting stuff coming soon we're not gonna say it i don't think we're allowed but make sure you stay tuned to our channel because i think this is like the biggest thing that we have done for our channel wise in a long time i don't even want to go outside because it's so scary but can you guys see that that is our outdoor couch this couch was laid across the other way so it full did like a like what three 180 360 i don't know but that is so strong because there's concrete blocks three concrete blocks underneath the couches so for it to move that is hectic over here we've got oh our windows are really dirty i definitely need to clean them but like our chairs have blown away and last time i mentioned that happened this chair right here blew across that fence can you see that fence there that's to our neighbors it blew across that one and also to the other following neighbors which was insane so thankfully it couldn't pick up but it still managed to slide look at biggie he's literally just living his best life he doesn't know how lucky he has it like look at that he's on a chair he's on a pillow here and he's on another pillow there trying to be comfortable Okay, so I realized the thing that house picking up actually requires me to vacuum the whole house. So that's what I'm going to quickly do. It'll probably take me about half an hour or so. But that's a little hint as to what it could be. If you guys think you know what it is, let me know down in the comments below. Unless I write it in the title of this video, I have no idea. But let's vac the house. right now but i've got these two plants and they just constantly keep drooping supposedly they droop when they're underwater but i water them like nearly every i'd say second or third day i know this one is a peace lily i feel like this one is also a peace lily but i'm not sure it looks very very similar however what i've seen people do with peace lilies is they put in the shower and they shower it kind of like a rainforest shower and they fully wet the soil so that the water comes out of the bottom so i'm gonna do that i'm not gonna do like a crazy amount because i don't want to like overwater it but i'm gonna just see how this goes because this one here it's just like super droopy especially this one like the other day this leaf was sticking upright and now it's just like that so wish me luck oh, and hopefully they revive all right so the house is all done it's vacuumed i've cleaned the kitchen area i've watered my plants everything is thriving i'm just gonna wait till how gets home he said that the item that he got has been delivered so he should be back in a little bit but right now i am just gonna catch up on my computer work as i said so i'll speak to you guys in a little bit Oh, I thought you were knocking on the door. He's home. As I was mentioning, tonight's dinner, we are having Japanese type of curry. So it's just super simple. I've made this before, but I'm doing it a very quick style. So I've got carrots, onions, and potatoes here. Usually I make like chicken schnitzel from scratch, but I'm being lazy because today we have like this already pre-made schnitzel and I'm gonna put that in the air fryer and see how this goes because it's just fast. 
All right, guys, now I'm back home from the office. Um, literally, I was not just there to pick up uh, this, but this is a present that I bought Philly. And no, I think Philly, baby, I think you should unbox it. No, you should do it. You should know how to use it. <laughs> I'm not good with this stuff, though. <laughs> you gotta learn and then teach me. Okay, so the reason why Philly actually cleaned the house today, I sort of just told her that I bought her a present, but I didn't tell her what. But, but, um, I realized that we've been spending way, way more time um, ugh, at the warehouse and less time at home, so we don't have time to clean. Therefore, I bought a, the robot vacuum cleaner right here. I actually spent so much time, so much time, heaps of time. Heaps to, I don't know, my English is really bad today. Here's time re researching the brand, what to get, what's good for the value of money, but now these things are not cheap. These things are definitely not cheap. But the convenience level of it is huge because uh, me and Philly, well Philly, to be honest, um, vacuums the house all the time, stuff like that, just to get fur out. And, and the crazy thing is I wanted one that was for sure to be able to clean fur, because fur is a problem for us. Whoa, this thing's actually huge. I didn't think it was gonna be this big. If you guys get one of these, it needs to have this. See this brush? This will actually pick up fur. This one's actually uh, one, one of the most expensive ones you can get because it uh, mops as well, because we do have tiles. It has like an auto height adjustable thing and stuff like that. I I personally would go for probably like the five, six hundred dollar one. You don't need to get this one, but this has like a home pod thing somewhere, a charging station pod that it, it knows where to go and it'll go back to this pod, I think, and charge. These are the blades that you get on a normal one, and supposedly these are only good for like tiles. I don't know, I'll figure this out and then I'll, I'll let you guys know what the hell I'm doing. So whilst Tao's over here trying to figure everything out, I have already prepared the carrots and the potatoes. I cut them up. There was three potatoes, two carrots, and one onion here that is diced. Last time I made this, I cut the onions quite big, but I realized I was just like picking out the onions. So I didn't really dice them, but I cut them just a little bit bigger than diced. Anyways, let's make this. Should be pretty easy. In the pot right here, I've just got oil and I'm just going to add in my onions right now. I don't think the pan's hot enough, but we'll see. Oh, it's too big. All good. Onions are now like sauteed, so I'm going to add in this. I should probably add the potatoes in at once and then do the carrots, but I'm just going to do it all together since it's in the one strainer. So I've just added the water in to pretty much cover the potatoes and the carrot and now all I'm going to do is just let this kind of bring to the boil and boil it for about 15 minutes until the potatoes and carrots are cooked. So with the schnitzels all I'm going to do is pop two of them into the air fryer at I think I'm going to do like 180 degrees right here for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. On the back of it it says you can put it in the oven at 220 degrees for like 20 minutes but since the air fryer is a lot faster this is what we're going with and oh here's my little new friend guys she's going or well, he's going i don't know we still get to name the little robot but it's working it's in action oh my feet it's in action and honey over here she's freaking freaked out by it so much like look at her she's just watching the robot she's gonna look, look at them stare at her oh look at her it's robot versus dog right now Look at him, look at him, look, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, what to do! <laughs> look at him run away! Oh, we need to teach them that it's okay, but it's so cute though. Honey, are you scared? <laughs> so I just put the snizzles in the air fryer, and what I'm going to do now, in this little packet here that I have, you can get this from like the Asian grocer or Coles, I think it's about $4 or so, I'm going to use one of the little cubes. I'm pretty sure I always used to use one, not two, but it comes with two of them. And it feeds, I saw like 12 people. So we're gonna just use one. I'm gonna break it up into four right now. So as you guys can see, it's just like a quarter there. And I'm gonna pop them into the 
potatoes, carrots and onion with the water. And then this is just going to like dissolve in there, stir and pretty much make the curry. That's literally how easy this is. Like honestly, this is way easier than a Thai curry. <laughs> Whatever those like cubes are made out of, it also it makes this like stock oh be so freaking smoky. Sorry about that guys. But it makes it like nice and thick. You'll see. Give me like three minutes and I'll be back and I'll show you guys what it's supposed to look like. It'll be a little bit of a browner colour and nice and thick. There you go guys, you guys can see the it's become like this nice, really thick gravy. It's this brown colour. Oh, so I'm literally just going to let this cook for another like five or so minutes, pretty much until the schnitzel is done, but also let the gravy and everything marinate in with the potatoes and carrots. This is what it looks like. Everything is done. Um, I kind of ruined mine because I put it in the microwave because it was cold. So now it's all soggy. So this is how's one. Our lunches for tomorrow are also done. You guys can see I used these containers in our previous video. Honestly, the two compartments is such a game changer. It makes a huge difference. And I'm going to put this in the fridge now. I also have one container left of the curry. The curry goes like really weird looking and like hard when it gets cold. But once you warm it up, it goes back to normal. All right, so everything is now all set up, kind of anyway. It's, I would say, half set up. Still, how it needs to fix, like, the app and everything, because supposedly you can draw, like, a map of our house and, like, tell where this vacuum goes. But to show you guys how it works, honestly, I have no idea really what to do myself. But I'm going to press play, and I think... Clean up all is starting. Oh, did you guys hear that? I think it's... Oh, oh big ear! <laughs> and there you go, it starts. And now it will just like go around this whole area around the house. It honestly it doesn't even really hit anything hard. It hits so gently. I think these little um, things there pick up any little bit of fur and it's kind of a bit of a center it looks like, but it just does its own thing now. Anyways guys, we're gonna end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll keep you guys updated on how a little robot vacuum goes. Today's notification video shout out goes to the first one is gonna be Eddie J. Thank you for being part of our early squad and being the first to comment. The second one goes to Chris P. Shout out to Chris P for commenting on our previous video. Anyways, I hope you're having a good day, evening or night. Also, K-Drum update. I feel like I've built this Korean drama community. Like I have so many people talking to me on my stories and everything and even just commenting in our videos. I am now up to episode 12 of Descendants of the Sun and honestly I love it so 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 much I don't know if it's just because it has that main character guy that I'm obsessed with or if I just genuinely like it but definitely definitely recommend watching it if you guys haven't seen it uh, there's a movie that he's in it's like a spaceship one it kind of looks weird but I'm just gonna watch it just because he's in it so we're gonna watch that tomorrow and see how that goes but anyways I'll see you guys in our next video hope you guys as I said are having a good day evening or night wherever you are in the world Bye guys!